Well, good morning. Welcome back. I had to get this video out right away. If you recall about two days ago, I issued out a video where I finally told you about how my truck was stolen and that I'd purchased this Faraday cage. If you have a car that's got a radio frequency key fob and a push button start, you gotta stick around. One of the wonderful unexpected surprises of starting this YouTube channel three years ago is finding a community like we have here where we have subscribers that are from all different areas of life have different expertise, different skills, uh, different knowledge, different information, and a willingness to share and help others. I posted that video, which I'll put a link to above, where I talked about the Faraday cage. After reading through 300 comments this morning, I had one small innocuous comment sitting there amongst the rest. One of the describers disclosed that there is in fact a means by which to turn the radio frequency transmitter off on this key fob, or at least on some cars or makes or models. So I thought I'd give it a try. This radio frequency key fob has a lock and an unlock button in addition to the alarm button. As you know, it's keyless entry. I can lock it by touching the car. I can grab the car and open it again. And of course I can start the car. However, watch what happens when I hold down the lock button and while holding it, I push the unlock button twice. You should see the light flashing. Turns off the RF signal. I never knew. In order to activate it again, you just push either one of those buttons. Doors open again. Doors locked. Doors open. Let's see if it stops the car from starting. Let's hold the lock button. While we hold it in, we push the unlock twice. See if the car starts. Now, of course, I don't know if this works on all makes and models, but it's a Toyota and it works. <laughs> well, geez, isn't that something? I think between the pouch and being able to turn off the RF signal, I think I'm in good shape. But I did want to take a moment since I have your attention just to talk to a couple of the comments that I received on that first video. Absolutely true. As soon as that key comes out of the pouch or as soon as you activate your radio frequency signal on the fob, any thief in the area that is sitting or watching you, I'm sure is gonna be able to try to pick up that signal and we'll have a chance. At the end of the day, you do have to turn it on in order to open the door to start the car. You certainly don't have to drive with it on because in the case of this Tacoma, you don't need the fob to be transmitting in order for the car to operate. You just need it to start. But you're right, it is possible that if you're walking to the car or you've got the fob on or out of the pouch, there's a window there where somebody could in fact intercept that RF signal. But at the end of the day, it's all about risk mitigation. It's not perfect or foolproof, but it's a lot better than the alternative, I believe. And hey, knowing that I now have the pouch and I also have the ability to disable or deactivate the RF signal, I think that's about the best I can do to help to prevent it ever from happening to me again. Wanted to sincerely thank the subscriber that left that comment last night. Greatly appreciated. Once again, Kind of makes you wonder why we don't all know this, but uh, whoever you are or wherever you've got your experience from, I really appreciate you sharing it with all of us. If you found the video of value, please hit subscribe, hit the like button, and if you want to know when I'm posting more videos, just click that little bell. Have a wonderful and safe week with your families. Please, please be kind to one another. I'll see you again on the next one. Cheers. <laughs>